Okay, so as you can see from the title of this video, something I never thought that would ever happen, ever, because I'm stupid and like totally in denial and just in my own little bubble and unrealistic little world that is Trisha60. Yeah, so people started finding out about my YouTube channel and when I say people, like obviously I've told a couple of people that are really, really close to me. So I've told a work colleague, I've told a really good friend of mine, obviously like my ex-boyfriend knows, my new boyfriend knows, and my family obviously know, and Kia's family. I knew the day would come where people were gonna start finding out about my channel, but like I said, I was totally in denial about it. And now, now I'm just having a little panic moment, and I decided to make this video. Not really for their benefit, because I know they're gonna watch, but, because I know that people have asked me in the past, like, oh, um, are you worried about people finding out about your YouTube channel? And I never really had to think about it before because it had never really happened before. And if people did know about it, they certainly weren't telling me that they knew about it. One of my, like, this is like family members that are finding out. And this is why it's so much more awkward than like when your friends find out because your friends know you, your friends know you say stupid things, your friends, like you can say whatever you want in front of your friends and nobody cares. In front of family, it's slightly different. You have to be a little bit more reserved in front of your family. And when I'm sat there talking about periods and boobs and shaving the fanny area and then my mum's family are watching it's just it's just a bit awkward to like look them in the eye ever again so the conversation came up about my youtube like at a family dinner and I was just like changing the subject because I found it really awkward to talk about it and I'm like I went home and I was like why did I not just like I'm really proud of what I do, that is the worst thing about it, I'm so proud of what I do, but from other people, they must just think I'm weird, and then I'm going to be known as the girl that just talks to herself in her room, to a camera, and I don't want to be that girl, like, I don't want to be the girl that just talks to a camera in her room and is a weirdo, because I absolutely love what I do. I think of it as a girl that talks to you guys, and like, you know, you're part of my life, you know what's going on, you want to get to know me, and it's just like, you guys are more like friends, but family is just like, totally different, because family, it's just different. I mean, like I said, if my friends knew about this, like all of my friends, I wouldn't care because I say things like that in front of my friends. I swear in front of my friends. But family, there's just a boundary. There is just a boundary with your family. So I'm making this video to say I'm really proud of what I do. I really enjoy what I do. It's a hobby. And I just think, do you know what? Not everybody talks about their hobbies. Everybody has things that they enjoy doing. Everybody has things that, that they like doing in their free time. But we don't necessarily go around telling everyone what we like to do. So when they found out, they probably thought it was really weird. But I don't think of it as a weird thing. But yeah, I was a bit, I wouldn't say embarrassed, but I was a bit like, oh my God, what are they going to think about it? So I guess there's a video just to say, like, if your school or your family find out about your YouTube, like, really, you just shouldn't care. And... All I kept thinking about was not like these kind of videos where I just talk about stuff generally, but I was thinking about the boobs and the period and the tampon and the picture of the vag that I drew. I was thinking about those kind of videos and I was thinking, oh my God, like I did the Harlem Shake with my mother. Like people are going to see that and they're going to be like, that's my optician. And I was just thinking, oh my God, this is a little bit weird now. But I don't know, do you know what? I'm just going to embrace the fact that people are going to find out. Um, it's nearly been two years since I've been making YouTube videos. It's nearly been two years. And I just, like I said, I'd never really thought about this day happening. I'd never really thought about what people are going to think about making videos. But I am so proud of what I do. And I'm so proud of what I've achieved. And, you know, the fact that I've got to over a million views on YouTube is like a massive achievement. Because remember, like, the first few days when I was getting, like, one or two views. I never, ever, ever thought the day would come when I get, like, a million views. Uh, over a million views. Over a million people have like clicked on my videos to like watch them. I don't know necessarily like a million people might be like the same five people watching over and over again. But like I am just so grateful for the fact that you guys appreciate what I do. And like I said, you get hate and all that kind of stuff. And I just think, well, not everybody's going to like everything about you. And I don't really care about haters. Like, you know, you can say what the hell you want. It's really not something that bothers me. 
Um, I, I'm going to make a video about that soon actually because I've people have asked me about it. Um, so yeah, this is a video just to say I'm so proud of what I do and if any of you are thinking about making YouTube videos, do it. I'm happy to give you advice. I have done a video somewhere where I've put tips on starting your own YouTube channel and just go and watch that because... I, I think I give lots of really good tips in that video. But I just wanted to say I'm really proud of what I do. I'm really, really proud of how far I've come on YouTube. I'm really proud that, you know, because it took me a long, long time to pluck up the courage to upload my first video. And my first video was a pile of poo. Like, it was absolutely awful. Like, I won't even watch my first video again because it was so bad and so awkward. I didn't even say anything. I did a makeup tutorial, but it was totally silent. And I was like, why did anyone even watch that? Like, I didn't even say anything. So, the fact that I've gone from that to, like, you know, just talking to you guys freely is like, something I'm really, really proud of. So, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be embarrassed when people ask me about it, but... The first thing I think about is the awkward videos that I don't think I want my family to watch. And then I think, do you know what? They're going to watch the awkward videos because... And actually, maybe it's a good thing because maybe they'll watch it and they'll get to know me a little bit more. Like, maybe they'll see a side of me that they didn't know. Maybe they'll see a side of me that they think is quite entertaining or quite funny. And they'll, you know, maybe they'll like that side of me. Because, you know, sometimes with family members, you have to watch what you say and you have to be all, you know, you know... So I am going to embrace it, I'm going to enjoy what I do, I'm not going to stop what I do because of anybody, like no one is going to stop me doing what I do, I'm going to carry on making my inappropriate videos about periods and fannies and stuff like that and I'm probably going to do this sex video with Harry, when I say sex video with Harry I don't mean that me and Harry are going to, but I mean generally talking about sex, so if you have any like embarrassing questions about stuff like that, ask them below because me and Harry are going to need questions to answer. So just wanted to get that out there and say I don't care like what you think of my videos. Um, I know that probably you might think some of them are inappropriate. Um, there are a couple of people I'm worried about finding out. Like if my boss ever found out about my videos, like she'd probably sack me. But again, that's just a whole nother thing that might happen one day and hopefully I'm not working for her when that day comes. But I just thought it was something I never really thought about and now it's started to happen slowly and now I'm like, oh my god. So yeah. Just embrace it, enjoy it, be proud of like your achievements and stuff because I really, really am. And I wish now when they'd asked me about it, I'd have told them some stuff instead of being embarrassed and like trying to change the subject. So just wanted to say I'm really proud of what I do. I'm so grateful to you guys for like helping me get this far. Basically, that's all I want to say really. So don't care what anyone thinks about me or my channel or my content or whatever. And I will say fuck, fuck, fuck as many times as I want because I don't really care what anyone thinks. And I will see you guys in the next video.